this is a moment. Thank you for joining me. Yes, you want to be my co-host? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome to today's video. As you know from the last video that I uploaded, there's a lot going on in my life, things that I'm not sure of, things that I'm trying to figure out, and there's a lot of stuff that I just keep writing down, like things that I've learned and things that I keep trying to keep in mind. It's this weird battle between currently loving who you are, but also trying to embrace new aspects, like add in qualities that you really value in yourself. I feel like every single day I'm trying so hard to be happy and to love my life. There's a health issue that has been happening this year, really for like two years now. And it is a skin condition and I could hide it because only two people that would have access to that part of my body is my husband or a doctor. So it was easy for me to hide. And I'm smiling because it's ridiculous that I'm saying this. So now I'm in a state where it has progressed, it's on my scalp. And thank goodness bandanas are a part of my style because I'm able to like, hide or cope with it but it is difficult so i'm constantly dreaming of you know things being fixed and i like to problem solve i've solved some health things for myself like food um certain allergies and tolerances i have overcome certain ones which is really exciting but there's so much that i'm still unsure of so I'm just constantly trying to look at food and not be like, oh, this is going to make me worse. So I feel like I'm trying to just love myself currently and really nurture, you know, what I like to do. In the past, I've had a very rigid way of thinking. Um, so I'm just trying my best all the time. It's tough. Like, I, I want friends and I want family. Um, and I have some, but I think it's still tough because especially with social media, we're constantly like looking at other families and other groups of friends and, you know, wanting that so bad. And when you don't currently have it or like this picture of what you want it to look like, you can get really wrapped up in like, what is it about me that's not, that's not giving it or that's not, you know, able to have that. And I do believe in the notion that we create our reality. So that is a tough place to be in when you want something so badly, but you don't know how to fix it. I've been trying to push past the belief that I'm not good enough. And I don't know how it has bled into my life where I'm not good enough for YouTube and social media and like all that kind of stuff, like I'm not worthy. And that is from my upbringing. And it sucks because, you know, I have a lot of time to reflect on this stuff because I am in that stage where I am trying to imagine myself as a parent and how I would parent. And, and so that's why I think of all this stuff. So it's not me overthinking. It's just me trying to reflect on like, well, if I had a kid, how... How would I talk to them? You know, how would I um, raise them? How would I, how would I instill confidence in them? Because I see that that was not done for me, and I've been left with pieces to put back together, and that's fine. Not everyone has the tools, um, or knows, you know, or has the ability to, you know, raise a confident kid and also it is currently the 29th i'm going to keep myself accountable because i don't want to let this video sit and shmeevai's in it so it's a good video already hey yo he's been following me around this whole morning so fall is almost here as you guys know i love fall so much oh my god i'm not even grabbing the curtain i have two bins of decor and i do want to go through because i feel like i have too much seasons just make me feel like a fresh start is upon us. And I actually got really emotional when I saw this um, from my fiddly fig tree cause she's hurting. I can't even explain. This is my fiddly fig tree. She's dead. And I saw this like 30 minutes ago. I kid you not, tears, tears started flowing. So yeah, I'm hoping 
that this is a good sign. I don't know how much of this stock that I should be chopping off because yeah, I've never done that before. This one's also hurting. Like I feel like our plants reflect what is happening in our lives. So when I saw this, I was instantly like, oh my God, does this mean like growth is happening? Growth is coming? And you are very curious about these plants right now. Please do not eat anything. I'm going to divide this into Halloween and autumn to see how much of each season that I have because I actually do like to pull out, you know, autumn stuff first and then I like start sprinkling in some Halloween and I have some very like dead themed things. assumed I have way more Halloween stuff than I do autumn things. This is hardly full. I do forget though that I have my spooky tree out which takes up quite a bit of space and that pumpkin. I took out one of these which is quite large. Our second spooky tree. This is the low-key fall foliage. It's so pretty. It has like cranberries and that is the last item. So I actually don't have that much um, fall stuff as I thought I did. This guy is playing with pumpkin. This is what I'm wearing. I have my sneakers in the car, so yeah, ignore that. It took me an hour and a half to land on this outfit. It took a lot of pairs of leggings, pants, tops, um, two bandanas. And this part is difficult for me to admit because it's something that I've been working on and after, right after it happens, there's this feeling of shame because it's like I'm obsessing over what I look like, but I don't want to be. Like, I've actually gotten over wearing my back out ever since we came back from vacation. That was so liberating, and I don't know, I just don't care that much. Like, this is the back of my top, and I used to always have to have my hair down to cover up any marks and I feel like completely fine. Like there's so much evidence to support that like I survived the day like, and I'm really trying to be worthy of myself. And so I just keep that in mind that I can do it. But the obsession um, with other things is just really difficult to push past. And the sensory issue also is difficult for me. I think other people go through this. Um, I just feel like I go through it a lot and it is just painful. It's painful. Like certain things just don't feel right in my body and it's like if only this wasn't there I could wear this. Like this this little scratch I could wear this. And especially on a day where I'm not feeling that great in my body. Today apparently is one of those days um, yeah, I just had a hard time getting dressed, but it's fine. It's noon. It's getting hot. It really has to do with the grocery store and the weather right now. So I'm just going to go to the grocery store. I hope this, um, just lets you into my brain and what I've been trying to work on. So I'm just going to hop in the car and get these groceries. <laughs> I've been out for quite a while, but grocery shopping was successful. I got everything that I needed and I even treated myself to some <laughs> sushi. So I got a tuna, avocado roll, I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds and this is coconut aminos on top. And then I'm going to put everything else away. The stuff that's cold is already put away. I'm currently making myself a protein shake. I think I want to do a workout and then shower, wash my hair and all that stuff. So I thought I'd just share with you guys what is in my shake. So I have two scoops of this chocolate protein. I have this mud water mushroom boost. So there's just a bunch of mushrooms in here. And then this is coconut milk with some ice and five grams of creatine. So I'm just gonna blend this up and have some of it, get dressed, do a workout. I wanna do full body because I won't be able to work out for like 
three days. Quite yum. This is weird in a clear straw. I actually just spent some time cleaning my toaster oven. It was not fun at all, but it had to be done because I cooked bacon in there. <laughs> not doing that again. Also, I want to talk a little bit about this book that I just started reading. It is Taming Your Gremlin. I found out about this book through the Skinny Confidential podcast, hadn't listened to that podcast in a while, and this man, Rick Carson, wrote this book. It's a surprisingly simple method for getting out of your own way. I love this concept of calling that voice your gremlin because it's not you. There's a tendency to call that voice in your head, oh, my ADHD, my anxiety, my OCD. And I have done that in the past, but lately I'm trying to not say those things. So I love the idea of calling it my gremlin because I am fully aware of, you know, things that are happening in my head and I'm trying to like, fight and not believe that voice so highly recommend this book and i'm listening to it on audible unfortunately it's not on like the libby library but i know i'll just revisit this book when i need it here is my outfit i went for this theme on my socks it's coffee and there's like teal and green this is by alphalete i have a whole collection I'm gonna go crazy this year. This is all Amplify, and this is actually my biggest pair of shorts. They're quite comfortable, and I think they're a size small, so let's go. We have Shake, Water, and I'm doing Gabby Shan's workout. This is a CrossFit style workout. Hopefully I survive. I did half of the workout. I'm very hot. I had to stop because my knee was doing something a bit weird, and one of the movements on the wrists I had to alter. So yeah, that's pretty good for <laughs> what I'm not used to. I'm not used to doing workouts like that. I'm gonna do some Pilates movements now because they're just a lot gentler. That's why I took a break from weightlifting. So I have these bala bangles that I wanted for so long, but they're so expensive. I got them for 20 bucks from TJ Maxx over the summer. So that was very exciting, such a good find. They had them in this charcoal color and pink. And I know um, in August of this month, I was there a couple weeks ago and they still had them. So you might still get lucky Look like that. I'm just gonna do some like kickbacks and leg lifts, nice and gentle movements. I don't like to beat myself up about not being able to do certain movements. I just need to take it easy because there's no need to you know cause any more damage to what's going on it's currently the evening and i am in my studio i have so much organizing to do there's lots to tackle thank you so much for watching if you reached it to the end it means a lot i hope you're doing well and you know we're all on this path of discovery improvement and it's going to be ups and downs so i just try to keep that in mind i'm currently feeling hopeful as far as skin things goes, I'll let you guys know in the next video what happens with that. And I will see you next time. Bye.